season. Let's head to the Western Conference. Spurs, Rockets, Game 4, Houston trying to even up this series. We go to the Toyota Center. Patrick Beverly, emotional mm. before this game after he learned that his grandfather had passed away. Teammates showing their support for Beverly, first quarter. How about the aforementioned Patrick Beverly representing Chicago, mm. knocking down the triple. Showing wow. his emotions right there after he hits in the trade. Third quarter, James Harden. Oh, oh my. We got LaMarcus Aldridge on skates, knocking down the tray later in the quarter. Patty Mills. Uh oh. Nothing you can do. Oh, whoa, whoa. Scary moment. Harden starts holding his knee. Is that a little knee to knee there? Harden would be okay. He would stay in the game. Under a minute left in the quarter. Harden, Jonathan Simmons, uh -uh. hand in the face. Doesn't matter. He had 28 points. Final seconds left in the third. Ryan Anderson from long range, beating the buzzer. Anderson knocks it in. That's all the Rockets would need. They defeat the Spurs 125-104. You Whoa. see James Harden, 28 points, 12 assists. Of course, the Houston Rockets, they're going to knock in a ton of trays. They did that one, Dave, and this series all tied it to That's That's it. This is so simple to deduce what happened in this game. If H-Town makes threes, they win. If they don't, they lose. They have no other gear. They have no other level to go to. They're not going to – I know Nene had, has had some big moments in the postseason so far this year. They're not going to win on the inside. It's going to be James Harden, Ryan Anderson, Eric Gordon. It's going to be your spot-up spot, spot up shooters that knock it down. If they knock it down like they did tonight, I don't think San Antonio has much of a chance. I always talk about pace of play with you when I look at these games. And you saw early on in the first half when the flow of the game – was getting up and down, and H-Town was getting open shots. I don't think San Antonio can play that recipe yep. like they did in game two over a seven-game series and win it. I don't see that happening because I, I think the spot-up shooters for H-Town are just too good. So how do you combat it? Good luck. You saw them trying to double James Harden and get the ball out of his hands, and that left the Ryan Andersons of the world open. To me, you tip your cap and say, okay, I can't wait, let James Harden get open looks as much as I can. He's still going to get some. But I'll double him and get the ball out of his hand. And if Ryan Anderson and the, the gentleman I just mentioned before, if they continually knock down shots, you have to tip your cap. It's, again, almost like the Cleveland series. If you can get the ball out of LeBron James's hands and the Kyrie Irvings and the Channing Fries of the world and those guys knock down threes, what are you going to do? Yeah. You're not letting the best player, even though James Harden had 28, you are the, the supporting cast is doing their job. And when they do their job, they're going to be a tough out. Certainly a guy like Eric Gordon, he had 22 off the bench. See? We know he could knock it down. Six of nine from downtown. The Rockets hit 19 threes. I almost wonder, though, if you take the twos, though. Like, if I try to D up, if I stay home on an Eric Gordon, if I stay home on a Ryan make Anderson. Make penetrate? Make them penetrate and take the twos because, obviously, the threes, if they hit 19, that's going to kill you. They ran them off the line in game two, yep. and it worked in San Antonio after they got blown out in game one. Game three, it's almost like this anomaly. They played so well as a team collectively that okay. I hope it's not fool's gold for San Antonio that they thought after games two and three that we can go ahead and get up and down. Tonight, again, they did try to double a little bit at the top, as you saw in some of those highlights, at the, at the top of the key and get the ball out of Harden's hands. And yep. it worked to get the ball out of his hands, but he found the open shooters and they knocked it down. I think you got to pick your poison. You run them off the line or double with the line. What are you going to do? If you double with the line, you're going to leave somebody open. You, you run them off the line, you're going to leave some shots open in the mid-range and maybe some layups. Game five, game five Tuesday from San Antonio at the AT&T Center. Much more post-game reaction coming up from that contest.